Hi, welcome to the Ruckus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, today I wanted to talk about um, a change that was made in uh, ICX version 90000 uh, and above, which is uh, how we handle um, Mac access lists. So if you want to do an access list to allow or block um, devices in hardware by Mac, um, or by part of a MAC address, like a OUI, for example, then this is the way to do it. And uh, so, yes, I know that MAC security is, is far from perfect, right? There's, um, you can easily spoof a MAC on many devices. Many devices such as, um, you know, iPhones and Android devices and, and, uh, some, and, and Windows devices can use a randomized Mac now, which, uh, you know, will create a problem when it changes its Mac. Uh, however, there's certain circumstances where devices will never change their Mac or you may want to use it anyway. So, for example, if your network was under attack and you wanted to, you know, quickly block something by MAC address, you could create a, an access list quickly. Or, you know, if, uh, if you only wanted to allow certain types of, say, IP phones on certain ports, you can create a, an allow list and then allow the, um, the uh, implicit deny at the end of the list to drop anything that's not uh, with that MAC. So I know it's not perfect, but I'll show you how it gets done. And this works on switch code or router code. So here I'm on a 7150 uh, running 900A. Um, and uh, let me just log in. Um, and uh, so what we're going to do is go into config T as always. And rather than IP access list, it's going to be Mac access dash list uh, and it's going you're going to give it a name so you know we'll call it whatever you want to call it we'll call this one allow my phone um, and that's it so we'll do it that way then uh, we have the ability to you know permit or deny as always with an ACL there's an implicit deny at the end so um, anything you don't allow will be dropped otherwise you can do a you know, um, a denies and then a permit any any at the end, right? You can also turn on logging there and turn on uh, enable accounting should you wish to. Uh, but for right now, we are just going to permit a Mac. So we'll do permit and then, um, so you could do, you know, any any obviously, you could do a specific source to a specific destination or any source, any destination or vice versa. But in this case, um, and this came from a real world scenario. A, a customer asked how to do this. So um, you wanted to allow Shortel phones. And so if we look up the OUI for Shortel, for example, it is 0010F9 is the, uh, is the Mac OUI for Shortel. So we're going to use that one. Um, dot four nine. And then we don't care about the rest of the address. So I'm just going to put in zeros for the rest, right? The other thing we can do is we could we need to put in a mask. So in the, in a Mac mask, an F or a one as the bit, it means we care about that bit. And a zero means we don't care about that bit. So in this case, we're going to use FFF, FF, and then we don't care about the rest. So we want to match the first, you know, six bytes there and ignore the rest. So we're going to do it that way. And then lastly, What's our destination? Because really, in this case, it's an inbound ACL, so we only care about the source, right? So we'll use any as the destination. Uh, and then I could log here. I could mirror if I wanted to use this for mirroring. Uh, but in this case, we're just going to leave it at that. And then there's, of course, an implicit deny at the end. So basically, once I apply this to, to the interfaces, anything that um, starts its MAC address starts with 001049 is going to be permitted uh, to any destination and if it's not if it's not one of those MACs it's going to be denied right so then we need to apply it so normally in router code I would apply this to a VE 
but in this case, because it's a Mac ACL, it, it doesn't get applied to a VE or a virtual Ethernet interface because that's an IP interface, right? It, this is a Mac, so we're going to apply it to the physical interface. So we'll do an interface Ethernet 1112. We'll apply it to multiple at the same time, right? And then it's just Mac access dash group in this case and then allow my phone uh, and then you're only allowed inbound in the case of a Mac so we'll, we'll apply that inbound so it says you know binding of large ACLs may take a few minutes this is not a large ACL so it's pretty much instantaneous but it is now bound to ports 1 to 4 and so anything that plugs into port 1 to 4 in this switch uh, immediately when they try to send traffic, they will be dropped in hardware in the ASIC. So, um, so it, it is, it doesn't take any CPU resources to do this. It is instant. It doesn't have to cross the switch backplane before a decision's made. It gets dropped right at the ingress on its way in. So no, um, you know, no performance hit to do this. And then we can do, there's a couple of show commands you can do on it. Uh, so show Mac access list uh, and then you can see bindings or brief or give it a name so if we do binding uh, we can see which which ports it's bound to and the direction it's bound uh, and we can also have a look at brief and you can see you know the number of filters and and uh, binding in binding out um, so easy as that so, and then if we do a show run on that, oops, pardon me. Um, here's our, here's our access list that we built. So this is the access list that we built there matching on the first six. And then you'll see it um, in there bound to the interfaces so you'll see it bound to each one of the interface so even though there's a VE here we don't bind it to that because that's an IP uh, uh, interface it gets bound to the physical interfaces in this case all right so that's it that's uh, the new Mac access list so easy uh, always named uh, and always done in hardware so uh, no performance hit to do it all right so thanks for joining and we'll see you next time take care